I would check one, two. All right, sounds like audio's good to go. Hey, everybody. Darren Wright from the Deep Cave Podcast, and this is a game that I have been so eager to play. This is Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. If y'all slept on this when it first came out back on the PS3 and the 360, well, good news, it's out today. It's on the PC as well. It's really good. At least when you can play it, it's really good. I'll get to that in a minute. So I've, I'm a little bit in. I haven't done any real major quests. I've gotten to the first village and I've just kind of been goofing off. And uh, taking advantage of some of the bonus content. This game comes with all the originals DLC. Uh, I should probably find a place to buy potions. Do they sell potions? No. But I'm in the first little village after the opening events of the game, and that's all I will say. And we've got an injured elf here. Yep. Yeah, she's doing great. She's a fae, I guess is what they actually call them. But When this game came out, it had like a lot of, uh, of like RPG and fantasy pedigrees behind it. I mean, character designs, D&D uh, &D writers, that kind of stuff. It was a big deal. However, when it launched, Skyrim had not been out that long. And if you're going to pick between a couple of RPGs, you're probably choosing Skyrim over this, what is, for all intents and purposes, like a, a really fleshed out fable type of game. And that's a totally good thing. I will get into so many of the uh, things I like about this, but I wanted to just kind of get some potions first and kind of show you how things are looking. I mean, graphically, They've added, they've added a little bit of polish, but you can tell this is a last-gen game. It's it's a PS3 and a 360 game. There's no hiding that. Just rifling through people's stuff. And I've already encountered a couple of bugs, but this is day one of launch. I mean, I don't expect it to be perfect right off the get-go. And one of the neat things about uh, Kingdoms of Amalur is the, the fact that you can kind of respec at a moment's notice. You don't have to tie yourself down to, well, I'm only going to do combat, or I'm only going to do magic, or, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand or ranged, or whatever. You can pretty much respec whenever you want. You can choose your fate, as they say. I don't know any spells. just gonna go for it. Let's just see what happens if I do that. And I do that. Yes. I played the heck out of this game when it first came out. First on the PlayStation 3, and then I got it on the 360. And I own it on PC as well. So, again, big fan of the series. I think it's the gameplay that draws me in because the story is really deep, but it's very easy to get lost in, as in, I have no idea what you're saying, you kind of lost. Do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, I would have noticed that. could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? What have you done? Ask questions when you could never understand the answers. It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, Rude. something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, 
He found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Far Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once mm -hmm. you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what mm -hmm. happened to my formula. When you do, blah, blah, blah. destroy it. It's the only way yep. to keep us safe. Got it. Hey, can I buy a potion or something? Yeah. All right, I am poor. Farewell. Welcome to Gorhart. Here's one of my biggest problems with the remaster already. The load straight they just the load screens they're so plentiful you get a really good chance to look at the art because you see these a lot and in fact i had a crash happen during one of these so i'm a little concerned right now because uh you know once bitten twice shy i i hope there are pat there's a patch coming this was originally done, done by 38 Studios. 38 Studios eventually was bought by the state of New Jersey. I'm not making that up. And New Jersey just kind of sat on this IP. EA eventually allowed THQ Nordic to buy it because EA somehow came into ownership. And then THQ Nordic. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and save because, again, I don't trust this game right now. <laughs> And that's sad, because I really enjoy this game. Uh, I enjoy the original anyway. Alright, so we've got... Got a quest giver up there. I'll get back to them in a little bit. Let's go see if we can find what's causing people to shoot blood out of their eyes, shall we? That sounds like fun. Welcome to what is this? Lawbreaker's Grotto. I'll get back to that in a minute. The art, though, I mean... The game world is phenomenally done. It's very pretty. There's a lot of varied landscapes as well. We're just in the starting area, obviously. Oh. -ho. The menus, they could use some work. Very, um, very last gen as well. Sorry if that's too fast for you. I'm a fast reader. I'm going with something different. Usually I uh, I do this finesse type warrior who works with daggers and he's a male and I end up kind of styling his hair and mutton chops look a little bit like Wolverine or like a dapper Wolverine. But I'm, I'm going with uh, kind of a spell, uh, kind of a, a mage type character. So let's see how well that works. Yeah. How's it going? And what I like about this game is that you can mix up your attacks at will, and it's very satisfying to be able to just kind of swap back and forth. Yeah, now I... Now it's my god. The little touches, like the, the distortion around the flaming weaponry, that kind of thing. Oh, there's a bear. I don't know how to describe it other than that the combat is satisfying. And there's a whole bunch of collectibles and stuff. There's like these things. I don't know if what the face say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now Lystrom doesn't know I miss Artol, these. and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken mm -hmm. for a fate weaver. So when Lystrom yep. came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But 
And this is something you can never forget. He must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground. And every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> yeah, those are great. <laughs> you find these lore stones throughout the world, and, and it kind of makes the world feel lived in, because people are just leaving random stupid messages there. Also, like Styrum, there was a lockpicking minigame. Unlike Styrum, um, this one is a little bit more friendly. Just takes a couple of uh, tries, and you can kind of figure out the finessing behind it. But leveling up, here's what, uh, you've got your basic stuff, that kind of thing. But whenever you hit certain levels, you also get to kind of like reallocate fate points, that kind of thing. What kind of, you know, what kind of build do you want? Do you want someone who's more uh, skilled in magic or skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat or ranged combat, that kind of thing? What do I want? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. So, you know, you can you can spec your points wherever you want. You can, like, put them in Might, Sorcery, or Finesse. And, again, I'm going kind of for combination of Finesse and Sorcery this type around. Um, let's see. Eventually, you can unlock kind of bleeding abilities. But for now, I'll just do that. And so you've got all these different types of destinies that you can choose from, that kind of thing. Each one gives you a different type of bonus, as you can see. There's melee attack, damage, ranged attack, yada, yada, yada. You get it. You can just be a fateless one, not have any kind of boosts. I went with Acolyte, it gets me more elemental damage. If you want to be a tank, go for the Brawler. And as you play, more of these unlock, see, Finesse and Sorcery. Uh, it depends on how many points you put into whatever tier, that kind of thing. So for now, that's what I'll stick with. See if I got anything good. It's better than what I got now, but what I have now has activated, you know, some bonuses. So, into the junk it goes. Yeah, I know. All right. Let's go in that cave. See if we can find out what's causing people to bleed. No joke, the announcement of this remaster took me completely by surprise. I contacted my spouse and I told her, I know what you're getting me for my birthday. Yes, it comes out a month after my birthday. I don't care. I've already ordered it. Thank you for what I have just bought. Oi! What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? Yes. Oh, I see. The twisted gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Delightful. Was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? 
I'm sorry. I have no choice. Do you? And you know, um, blocking properly will get you a uh, chance to, you know, parry that kind of thing. Come on, then. Ooh, wine. You know, while we're hanging out, I'm sure everybody saw the the next Xbox, the Series S, as in Sam. Microsoft announced the price and the release date, $299, wow to play next-gen games. I know it's not gonna be as powerful as the Series X, but still, that's a great entry level. It doesn't have a disk drive. So we're looking at... No. No. Almost. So we're looking at something that doesn't have a disk drive. It's digital only, but it's $200 less than what everyone's expecting the PS4 and the Series X to be and you can play next-gen games immediately. I know that they'll have some kind of Game Pass bundle because Microsoft knows that Game Pass is probably the best deal in gaming right now. I'll go out on a limb and say that. I've said that on the podcast. Hi there. Combat's always fun and fast. But I was excited to hear about the uh, the Series S. It was one of those best kept secrets in gaming. Like everybody knew that it was a thing. Everybody knew. But it's nice to see it, you know, confirmed, I guess. Microsoft really didn't have a choice. It leaked out. So they're like, okay, fine. Yeah, it's coming. But November 10th, so we finally, somebody blinks. Somebody finally told us when to expect. Someone finally told us when to expect one of the next gen consoles. And it's November 10th, which is pretty much when we were expecting it to be, let's be honest. Um, now it's Sony's turn. I guess. I mean, I know the Series X has not yet officially gotten a release date, but if the S is coming out at the same time as I expect it will, because why wouldn't it? Then it's a matter of time. Sony's got a blink at this point. They have to. They were waiting. The stupid staring contest is over. Let's go. Tell me how much the PS5 is going to cost. Let me pre-order it. Or else I'll pre-order the Series S or the X. Either one. Because, yeah, I like... I'm not a loyalist. It doesn't matter to me as long as the games are fun. I'll play them on whatever. Oh, I hated these things. So many of them. Sounds good. These things are creepy. And eventually, the more you fight that purple meter underneath my health will build up. And that allows you to do this kick-ass kind of... I want to call it a final smash. I know that's not what it is. But that's the closest word I can think of to describe it. You just completely tear this enemy you're fighting apart. But the combat reminds me a little bit of Fable. It's faster than Fable's combat. I am excited about the Fable reboot that we're getting on the next Xbox, which again, 
You know, if we knew more about when that was coming, I know it's not coming at launch. That's that's for darn sure. Let's see. I got some crates down there to destroy. I got some idiots up here to kill. What the? Could have gone better. I like that little just blow dust in their eyes kind of kind of attack. And then Nintendo, Nintendo after Microsoft drops their bomb, they're like, "All right, here you go, November 10th." Nintendo's like, "Oh wait, just a minute, we're gonna do a sequel to Hyrule Warriors." And it's gonna take place. It's gonna take place. It's a prequel to Breath of the Wild. That's Sometimes crazy. Sometimes this is too hard to believe, but you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The ancient ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone. Well said. So I guess my question is, what are you looking forward to? Are you going to kind of keep rocking it with the current gen systems? I mean, Nintendo's got... Nintendo has uh, Hyrule Warriors Breath of the Wild Zero, I guess, coming up. November 22nd. Of course, we've always got the games that are currently available on current gen systems, like if you've missed any of them for any reason, now is a great chance for you to kind of get locked in on those. Man, stealth! I'm terrible at stealth! <laughs> Trying to have a conversation, guys. Anyway, uh, if I had to pick, based on strength of exclusives, since Microsoft delayed Halo Infinite, rightfully so, I'll probably go PS5 uh, for the holiday season, if I can get my hands on one. I saw that they're freaking, they're limiting, they've got like a, a pre-order page set up on their website where you can sign up for the chance to be notified that you might get to pre-order the PS5. Because that, that right there sounds like a great way to run a business. I get it. COVID-19 has made everything crazy. I'm certain that stocks are going to be, you know, limited. I get that. Could we, I don't know, just be honest up front and say that? All right. There's no way I'm sneaking up on these guys. My stealth has been absolutely terrible. And this is going to be more of the same. Yep, someone already sees me. Someone sees me. Never mind. Leroy Jenkins! Oh, that was easy. Yeah, I'm not wasting my Hulkamania on one bad guy. I'm going to wait until I can really... Really burst out. These walls are grown, are built of stone. Lovingly, this place was crafted. You see the lights, the mystic halls of ordered reality? They are the faces of the missing, the embodied truth of the lost souls. There are so many of them. Still, you can see them. They are like pathetic charades. Some with good intentions, and you can't fault them that. But the majority of them are just a hoax. Needless to say, I don't like it here. You could have stayed free and lived a comfortable life, but you couldn't settle a disquiet that haunts people like you. See, that's one thing that's been kind of weird about this game, is that sometimes the music just kind of 
comes and goes. Again, this wasn't a problem in the original, so hopefully there's a patch coming. I know there's DLC coming next year, and I'm excited, I'm excited about that because, you know, we don't have... This is a game that nobody thought would ever come back, and we're going to be getting new content for it. What? So exciting. More exciting than this load screen. I'm all over the board, but yeah, I, I'll probably get a PS5 if I can. If not, Microsoft's going to make it really easy for me because I think the uh, Series S and the Series X, they'll probably have loads of that. I want to get one of them with a disk drive, if at all possible. I, I love digital games. I love the convenience, don't get me wrong. But I also am going to take advantage of some of the backwards compatibility, guys. And you can't really do that if, uh, you know, you've got physical games for the last-gen systems. I know that Xbox is going to be a little bit more backwards compatible friendly than the PS5 will because, you know, that's Sony for you. Alright, looks like I got... Where? Oh, they're all the way up there. Alright. Got me some jerks to hunt down. Yes, I know I have my reckoning power. I'm not going to use it until I need it. Hard to get the uh, blocking timing down right. Okay. He earned it. He earned his pay. Alright, let's see what we can do about finding those, uh, I don't even know what we're looking for. Chemicals, some kind of compound. Death Note. Uh, wrong franchise, guys. Oh, Death Notice. Yeah, I might be able to do something with that. I got it. <laughs> oh no. Hey buddy, you want to see that? Okay. Come here, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Oh that. That, that can't feel good. Oh, 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 oh no. Woo. Uh, yeah, it's a quality game, guys. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I just, uh, yeah, yeah you'll be fine. and stuff. Smashy, 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 smashy
smashy. Oh, another one of these lore stones. in combat fair. Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near. All right, three more to go. I think I'm about to wrap up, so... You know, you've seen the gameplay. You've heard me kind of whine and moan and complain about... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> stupid... Stupid next-gen stuff. I'll show you what those... Big fate whatever attacks are capable of doing. Hi. Power. Yeah. It's usually much more impressive when you're fighting a whole bunch of other uh, villains, but I guess I just decided to waste it because that's that's who I am. Just wonder what kind of person I am. There's, you know, there's some villains around here. Can I finally sneak up on one? Is this gonna be it? Is this the day? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that felt so good. Probably actually finish the quest now. Return to Nani. So I guess I'll do that. You creepy little mofos. Let's get back home. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of checking this out. Again, this is one of my favorite games of last gen. So I was really happy to see it come back. Really excited for its future. If it does well, you know, we're getting DLC now. But if it does well, fingers crossed, we might end up... Where am I going? Where the heck am I going? Jeez, Darren. We might end up with, you know, even more KOA. And that's a good thing. Because I think it's a creative world. I think that it has a lot of possibilities. I want to see it come back. Hey, while I've got you, before I hop off the stream, please, if you have a chance, take a look at our website, dtcavepodcast.com. I know, I know, cheap plug, but no, there's there's a reason. I've got, like, a, an actual altruistic reason for this. We're raising money for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. If you're watching this video on YouTube, it's in the video description, the link is, but you can also find it at dtcavepodcast.com. But we're raising money for CMN Hospitals through the Extra Life efforts. And, you know... It's been difficult for a lot of people this year, hospitals especially. 
But we do this every year. Every year we, we kind of participate with uh, Extra Life and Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. That's another weird glitch. Listen. Oh, no, wait, there's another dog. Okay, so I got all the wolves, right? They're all dead. And yet... Yep. Yep, they're all barking. That's the thing that's happening right now. But anyway... Oh, don't... Get the lore I stone. have a secret to tell you. I am not sad. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. Right on. But yeah, uh, geekchiefpodcast.com or go et you don't even have to go to our website, extra-life.org and just search for us there. Hey, I can finish a secondary quest while I'm up here. We're raising money for CMN hospitals and any donation gets you entered into some great prize drawings. We've got gift cards from GameStop, gift cards for Xbox or PSN or Steam. Other giveaways. May your no pressure. Gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. <laughs> your face is now that right there your is a smack talk Gorhas. greeting. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. True that. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Farewell. Right. But like I said, no pressure. We just... You know, we want to help as many people as we can. And every year we do this. We're going to be participating in the 24-hour gaming marathon around Halloween. Which you can find out more again at our website. Click on the little extra life button. Bada bing, bada boom. I guess I gotta go the long way around to get down. Oh, there's the dogs. <laughs> This is the weirdest freaking glitch. The wolves are dead, guys. It's like they're just trying to make you feel bad. Which, I don't know, they might be. Combat can be a little button mashy at times, but I don't know. To me, it still feels satisfying. I keep switching to these weapons because I don't want that flame circle just kind of distorting the the, uh, the image behind my head. All right, let's turn in this quest, and then we will call it a day, shall we? Fingers crossed that it lets us finish this quest. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And I do hope that you find all of our content at geekcavepodcast.com. 
We've got lots of podcasts. Obviously, it's in the name. We've got a movie podcast called You Want Me to Watch What? And it's really fun. Two guys, Justin and Chad, and they basically suggest to each other movies that fell under the other's radar. It's a fun time. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend I do know it. To village and to me, Nani Hamri. Take this. Nani? It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Yay. I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. What? Do you really think I'm able to part with any? This is a place of research. There is no chance. Oh, for God's sake. Just give me. Farewell. Woman won't. I just, I just did her a solid. And she's like, I ain't got no charity for you. I'm not helping you. And this is me, Darren Wright, from the Deep Cave Podcast, continuing to stream a lot longer than I said I would. I hope you've enjoyed Deep Cave Plays, Kingdoms of Amalur, Re-Reckoning. It's available now on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and I'm pretty sure at least the PS4 version will be playable on the PS5. I know the Xbox One version will be. That's why I got it. Future-proofing myself, y'all dtkpodcast.com or find us on all of your favorite podcast services and again please if you have a chance check out our extra life page extra-life.org and just search for our podcast by name and you can find our team there and we would really appreciate any support you can give us look at those sunbeams look at those flowers that don't quite render just right the floating zucchini chips there in the air ah it's great kingdoms of amalur I don't care what anyone says. I love it.